IMO International Maritime Organization When you receive instructions to carry limited amounts of dangerous goods, you will need to label the trailer already at the loading place or at the harbor. When doing so, the following rules should be taken into account. When applying the IMO stickers on all four sides of the trailer, make sure not to place them on top of the AWOL's logo or fleet number. Look for an empty spot for placing the IMO sticker instead. In order to prevent the sticker from falling off, make sure to clean the surface with an old towel or tissue. It is prohibited to carry stickers when driving on the road with an empty trailer. Therefore, you must remove the stickers as well as possible when you couple the trailer at the terminal. Collecting a trailer with IMO stickers from the harbor. After unloading, immediately remove all IMO stickers from the trailer. Consequences of not removing the IMO stickers. Trailers will be refused at the ferry terminals when they still have stickers attached without having dangerous goods on board. When caught by the police while driving a trailer with IMO stickers attached without having dangerous goods on board, fines can go up to 1,800 euros. ADR You need to have a special license for trailers that are fully loaded with dangerous goods. AWOL's Cargo Care will never assign you with a trailer that is fully loaded with dangerous goods when you do not have the required license. This means that you are not allowed to drive with opened orange ADR signs. Also never use ADR shield plates in combination with waste loads. Inappropriate use of ADR shield plates can be fined up to 1,800 euros. In case the ADR sign lock is broken, please inform planning at daytime so that you can go to a truck repair shop. Otherwise, use a piece of duct tape as a makeshift. Carrying ADR shields is only allowed when you own a personal ADR license and have an ADR kit on board of the truck.